my name is Molly. I'm the Executive Vice President of Academic Sales here at Oxford Medical Simulation, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what yeah, we do. So here at OMS, we make virtual reality scenarios for nurses, doctors, um, other health, uh, allied health professionals across the board of academia yeah. and into our health systems. Um, our platform is one platform with two delivery methods. So you can run scenarios immersively in a virtual reality headset, as well as doing things on screen, a PC, Mac computer. We love that because that really allows us to help deliver high fidelity simulation at scale. The other thing that's really important to mention is that we're facilitator free. So what that means is as the faculty, you don't have to run the scenarios yourself. There's a powerful physiology engine and emotional engine that works underneath for you. So that scenario is gonna dynamically evolve based on the student's decision making. We have scenarios across the board that are single player or multiplayer, uh, using hand control, voice interaction, both, as well as multi-patient scenarios. These have been great for my academic uh, institutions where they can build upon their students' uh, skills that they learned earlier in the curriculum, really transition into practice, learning how to take care of multiple patients all at the same time. On top of all of that, we also have an authoring platform, which puts the, the uh, power of creating a scenario in your hands. It's a no-code system. You don't need to know how to develop VR scenarios. It's drag and drop. It's fill in the blank. I just did a demo with someone, and it was super easy and intuitive, and they were really excited to use it. Uh, what we'll do next is we'll pop over to see one of our scenarios where we get to see Ray in patient. Ray's been short of breath. He's not feeling very well. He has a fever. Um, and Jessa is going to be taking care of him. She's going to be able to speak to Ray and her nursing assistant to interact in that environment, actually do an assessment, call the provider, give medications, all the while I am doing nothing as the facilitator. All of it's happening automatically and realistically for us. So what we're seeing here, Jessa is in one of our nursing scenarios where she's come in, her nursing assistant greeted her at the door to let her know how Ray is doing. And now she is taking care of Ray. In this scenario, it uses our own language model as well as a large language model where she can communicate realistically with both Ray and her nursing assistant at the bedside using her own voice and they are understanding her communicating back with her. She's also able to use her hands to do a full realistic examination. At the conclusion of this scenario, she's gonna end up calling the provider and getting orders, giving report, giving medications, and she can do this independently without any help from me. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. If you'd like to learn more about Oxford Medical Simulation, please visit www.oxfordmedicalsimulation.com.